kids, it's Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. So supplies you need for the live class today, uh, bring your whiteboard, dry erase marker, an old sock for erasing. And then some things that you need today for your activities are scissors, glue, colored paper, and some white paper. I think that's it. All right, make sure to watch this movie um, here first, all the way through. Put your name. And then we're gonna uh, move around to a short U CBC dance song with Jack Hartman. Okay, so make sure you do that and then click on next. All right, um, I had to change my code for the live class um, to Bl BC Blair. So I know that a couple of people yesterday went to Blair 2. Please uh, go to BC Blair for now on, for reading groups, for pretty much anything, okay? All right. So write your spelling words today, three times each on a piece of paper, and then I want you to go over all of the short vowels with a red marker. So if you got 100% on your pre-spelling uh, test, I want you to do these challenge words, okay? Um, if you want, you can post a picture of your spelling practice on Seesaw uh, by clicking the green plus. All right, I think almost everybody has joined, but here's the login. I think there's like one more person that needs to join. Please, please, please log in to Seesaw so you can do your work. Um, so in math, we're going to uh, learn about writing numbers in word form today. So uh, make sure you watch this movie. And um, this is just a resource for you of all of the numbers that are spelled out. So some of your work today, you're going to have to write your numbers. Uh, refer to this um, to help you spell all of the number words. So then I want you guys to go to Seesaw and you're gonna do math lesson 1.3. There's two pages. The first one kind of looks like this. Um, and you can find this work, uh, you can find this workbook page in the manila folder in the bag that I gave you on Monday. Okay, so this is one of one of the activities. It kind of looks like this. And then just answer this. What is 673 in word form? So how would we write it properly? Pick the right one. I'm just gonna pick a random one and click on next. All right, so I have some a fun bat puppet activity. Um, I made one of these. I don't know where mine went. I think my, my uh, son William was playing with it. Uh, so watch this video on how to make this bat puppet. Okay, and then in your bag, you should find this writing paper. If you don't, then just write it in your um, your uh, spiral notebook, your writing spiral notebook. So write a couple of sentences about your new pet bat in his or her voice. That means the bat is talking, okay? So if you're up to it, you can write a whole story. It, the bat can tell a whole story if you want. Write as much as you would like. If you run out of space, use your notebook, and below is an example. So, my little bat pet, hi, my name is Midnight, and I'm a fruit bat. I like eating mangoes. I live in a cave with my brothers and sisters. We like flying around at night. So, something like that. And then, after you're finished your writing, I want you guys to make a movie of yourself using the iPad camera app. It's just the regular camera, make sure it's on video, and then record yourself reading your bat writing. Uh, you can click on the plus sign and upload it to Seesaw, so it uploads to your journal. And I think these are, are gonna be pretty cute. You can watch this one, I um, did an example for you, okay? All right, then we have language arts. You have, um, I want you to watch this. Uh, it's a pretty cool movie about the 
this plurilator machine. It makes words plural, adding S and ES at the end to make more than one. And um, so it'll tell you about a couple of rules that we have for certain words, like words that end in CH or words that end in X. So those don't just get an S on the end, they get an ES, okay? So um, watch that movie, and then there's two um, workbook pages for you guys to do. Uh, and use the text tool to write so I can read your handwriting. All right, in Vanicola, we are on chapter three and four. Um, listen to me read and answer these questions about Banicula. I'm just going to pick the first one so I don't tell you the answer. All right. And this is optional, but recommended. Um, watch the Bats Brain Pop movie. It's not the Brain Pop Junior one. It's the Brain Pop app. Um, so there's two of them. There's Brain Pop Junior and Brain Pop. The login is the same, Gispel. And the password is 54321JIS. And watch the movie on bats. This is a link to it right here. And then take the quiz afterwards, okay? And see um, if you learned anything about bats. All right, we have drop everything and read time. I added five minutes to your time. So please read for 20 minutes. You can read on Raz Kids or Epic, or maybe some you have a book at home that you're reading and you can click on here if you need to find out how to log into Epic. So the Kids A to Z app looks like this and tell me what you read. And then that's it. And I hope it's a nice day so you can go outside and play. But if it isn't, maybe get your rubber boots on and go out and get some fresh air. All right, guys. Have a good Wednesday. Bye.